Guys, did you hear? It's Christmas. And CGC you see? Some of Christmas present. Nine months. Took them a while. We're finally here. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this video, we are only going to do one box out of two. Put that aside for now. Uh, hey guys, uh, new setup. So, um, first of all, let me uh, make sure I can conserve battery on these LEDs and such. But this is my new setup. Uh, you can't see my lovely background, uh, but you can see top down as well as my beautiful face. Hello, let me scoot you back a little bit. We'll see, we'll adjust from there. Uh, but anyway, so going over one out of two CGC returns and can't wait to get into this. Again, I waited nine months, nine months for these and it was uh, quite a hassle. Um, obviously CGC has gone through a huge growth period, um, but they, their backlog was I think it, it took for bulk, uh, 50 cards, it took from, I think in January, it was about 183 days, business days, to I, I got this submission back, 53-ish cards, I uh, got back in 150 days. So they're doing better, which is great, great for the hobby, great for people who wanted to grade their cards, uh, and we'll crack right open this puppy. I sent off a whole bunch of cards ranging from cards from Tag Team All Stars. Ooh, come on. Ooh, there we go. Right there. There we go. Tag Team All Stars as well as some Japanese promos. Ooh, don't want to see them. Don't want to see them. Uh, we are going to go over a few of them. I have, uh, or all of these right here. I think these are probably close to 20, 26 cards. I'll do another, um, do another video about more of these uh but for right now this video is just doing 25 okay so first card and how i will actually do this i think i'm just going to use a good old sticky note or i'll just use my hands i don't know whatever whatever um so first card i know i sent off a whole bunch of okay so this is a Japanese Rayquaza promo. I think we already saw this artwork. Let me grab this better. I think we already saw this artwork uh, before, but this is a sweet looking card. Oh crap, I think I revealed the grade. And it came back a nine. So a nine, nine, 9.5 and nine. Let me, here, hold on. Let me, let me bring you down a little bit more. See, see if it goes, okay. That should be better. Okay. Yeah, I got a nine. So nine, nine, nine point five, nine. A little abnormal for Japanese uh, cards uh, because they are such good graders. Um, these guys usually always come back nine fives, and uh, I just, I just, you know, Rayquaza is always a fan favorite, and this artwork is dope looking. So I wanted to get a, a few of these graders, just like the Koro Koro. Uh, Snorlax cards. I wanted to get a few of these graded, and I think I graded about four of these. So we're probably going to see a whole bunch of them. So I will put my, I'll just put the nines right here, nine fives right here, and so on. You'll see later in the video. So next one. Okay, another Rayquaza. Come on, 9.5, nine. Ooh, okay, okay. This guy got a quad nine that is if you're going to get a nine might as well get a quad nine and it just is visually pleasing uh to the eye and i have quite a collection of nine five pure nine five grades i call them pure uh grades you could call them quads um but this is again another quasa i think this one this one was the v starter sets purchase champion uh came out 2019 it again was a promo and it kind of released like the Snorlax, not in a magazine or anything, but again, it's a promo. I, hmm, I have to go back and look exactly what campaign it was released at. And yeah, you guessed it, another one. So this guy got a nine. So nine, nine, eight point five and nine. So corners, oh geez. Jeez, bruh, bruh. Bruh, I got a seven. Uh, so this, okay, okay, I can, I can see it. 
So you can see it right here, uh, a little bit of denting. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but uh, a little bit of denting right there and some whitening right there. If you can see that. Uh, but corners, that's what got corners. It would have been a quad or a pure 9.5, uh, but it just got the nine. It just got the nine. Okay, next one, you guessed it, it's probably Rayquaza. Okay, cool, Rayquaza. Let's see, can I get the 9.5? Nine, nine. Oh man, again, 8.5 for edges. You know, I can't go wrong with uh, CGC because they agree with computers and oh yeah, this is, I hate that this is a nine, but it's well deserved. You can see right there, whitening uh, and these, you know, I'm not trying to flip these cards or anything. I'm a lot of these are from my personal collection. I wanted to get one in a high number and I think I only submitted four, uh, but yeah, four, four nines so far, just Japanese. Not doing so hot, but let's see what the next one. Okay, okay. So this is a speculation card. Uh, fairy energy, ah, oh, crap. Oh, well, you can't see it. Okay, cool. Uh, this, this is a fairy energy. They recently um, got, have done away with fairy energies, uh, but as I already spoiled the number myself, it's a nine, centering nine, 9.5 for surface, 9.5 and edges nine. Um, a lot of this stuff is really hard to see with the human eye. It can sway very depending on the grader, on what it can get, but because it's computerized with centering and surface and edges, I don't know if everything's computerized. I think some, there has to be some part of a human to create this card. Um, but again, this is a speculative card, uh, mainly due to the fact they got rid of fairy energies, and I think this is the last set to have fairy energies. Um, and this is obviously a secret rare from Tag Team All Stars. You'd get one of these per case, and I got a couple fairies. As you can see in the next card, another fairy energy. And let's see, hopefully, 9.5, 9. Okay, 9.5 centering. Corners 10. Love to see it. Really hard to get. As you know, CGC is so hard to get freaking tens. It is insane. Insanity. I oh, my flipping camera die. Hopefully nothing else dies. <laughs> this unboxing. I'll speed run this a little bit. So you missed a couple cards, but I'll go back into it. So we got some more Rayquaza cards. So another Rayquaza. Uh, I'm just going to go into it since I already saw it. I got an eight. Freaking stinks. Uh, surface edges, um, Japanese cards. If you get lower than uh, than a nine, it's it's pretty much an L in in that book. Um, then we got one last Rayquaza card. It got thankfully a pure nine, a pure nine, where it has four subgrades of being the the, uh, the same grade. And I just I just uh, love love this uh, subgrading and just so aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so I made a subcategory right here um, in its own category itself. All right, then we go into the Pikachus. I'll get the worst one out of the way since I've seen this one already. Good old 8.5. So this is pretty much an L. 8.5 doesn't go for much. And I'm just going to put it right there. Uh, surface got an 8. I can't even tell. There's probably a, probably a scratch somewhere. Can't even tell, but again, these grade these like with computers, so you can't. I, I can't argue with it. It's whatever. Uh, then we'll go into some good news. Uh, got a pure nine in the Pikachu. I love love this artwork. Uh, I didn't I didn't get to talk about it because the camera died. Uh, but this artwork, it came out in the spectacular Voltacular series uh, or the series released in Japan. It was a promo. Uh, you came in came in um, single card promo packs with uh, spectacular Volt Tackle, um, and you had a choice. You had a chance at the Vivid Voltage V Max uh, Pikachu Rainbow Rare. Or not Rainbow Rare. It was the promo Pikachu. I was speculative in this card uh, mainly due to the fact of the artwork, which is very beautiful. You didn't, you don't really want to go off just artwork on when you are speculative in an area, uh, but also, yeah, I just, if I get stuck with all these cards, I love these cards, I'll give them away, I don't care. Uh, three Pikachus in, in an artwork, as well as there's a male and female. You can tell by the tails, 
Uh, one's pointy and one you can't really tell because of the stamp, but it looks like a butt and it's a female pretty much. Uh, so I love these cards. Uh, we are going to put it in, and I have two quad nines. Lovely. Uh, then going back into it, I have, I got two nines. Um, this one's stronger than this one, but again, love this card. I'm not going to go wrong if I just hold on to those. And then we got one nine five, very strong nine five, a ten in corners. Love this card. Would love to get it in pristine ten, but who knows? And then that, that's where the uh, that's where I noticed that the video wasn't playing. So let's get right back into it. All right, next card. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, look at that! Another Pikachu. What we get? Oh, nine point five. Hmm. I wonder if they organ. I don't know if they organize these uh, by grades. That that would stink if they did, and that I know all the rest are nine fives. But who knows? So we got a nine point five, nine, nine point five, nine point five, nine point five. If you get three of the same um, grades, I'm not a hundred percent certain. I don't think it guarantees. Again, it's 0.5 above your lowest subgrade. Uh, but again, I don't want to ramble on on these cards all day. Oh man. And I guess we'll take a break of these cards and go to the big moment. You know what? I'm just going to leave this to the side. I, this was a card I really wanted a good grade in. Um, I don't know if I got it or not, obviously, because I haven't seen the grades. And we're coming back to the Rayquazas. What we got? Man, how many of these did I submit? I think I submitted like six of them or seven now. All right, what we got? What we got? The nine. Ten centering, nine surface, corners and edges. Edges got 8.5. Okay, cool. So nine. Uh, like I said, usually nine point five is the normal norm for just released Japanese cards. But who knows how many hands these have been through? So I bought them directly from Japan, from from Japan, <laughs> the website. Oh my goodness, my little Grugi boy. Um, this guy, I I think I got it from a friend who pulled it or something from his Shining Fates because I. Other than that video that I did, Shiny Fates, I haven't opened a lot at all. And I love, as you know, Grookey. Let me just pan over. I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to reveal this grade. What I got? Nine. Nine, nine, nine point five, nine in edges. Oh my gosh, I love that shine. And Grookey, just amazing. Green, green. I love it. Uh, the nine. Would have would have liked nine five, but who cares? Whatever. I don't care, really. All right, I will just show you. So my wife, she got me. Oh man, I locked this in place. No, is it gonna be? It's gonna be stupid. Okay, it's gonna be stupid. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go like that. All right, so my wife, she got me these little nano bricks, and I got a little grookey. This was so utterly hard to build, but it came out wonderfully. It's now it's in my display. It's back here with my cocoa box. Let's see if I can. Show it off, yeah, with my Coco box and everything else, but uh, I love it. It's just so cute, so adorable, just right there. And uh, you'll see me, you'll see him in later videos. Okay, getting right back to it. Oh, we got an English card. What we got? Oh, Shining Ho Ho. I sent off. I opened up some. Was it Hidden, Hidden Fates, Shining Legends? No, it was definitely Hidden Fates. I opened up some Hidden Fates, pulled the Shining Ho Ho. Uh, centering wasn't all that great, so I'm expecting, I don't know, a, a nine? I don't know. What we get? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, buddy. We got the quad nine. Like I said, I just find these grades so athletic, uh, athletic, athletic, aesthetically, aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing. Um, and they will go right there. Wow, English quad nine. Nice. We're getting, we're getting quite a few quad nines. I'm just gonna be a quad collector, honestly. That sounds like fun. Oh, my last special delivery Pikachu. What in the world did this get? These were an, synonymous for banging up in your in your uh, box that you bought them. And for those who don't know, uh, you had to spend I think over twenty dollars at the Pokemon Center online last year. I think in October. November or something, um, and you would get this free promo. Uh, and let me just review the grade. It looked off center. I'm saying nine, 
9, okay, centering, yeah, 8.5. 9, 9, 9.5, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong, especially for these. It does not have a swirl, as you can see. It does not have the swirl. But, oh, there's a swirl at his feet. Who knows? I'm not a swirl co collector, but it's something to look for. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, these were synonymous for banging up inside your package, and people would get dinged and scuffed. And I've graded about six of these, and they are all 8.5s to 9s, I think. So this will be going, going to the 9 section. Next one, okay, okay, I sent off four of these. These were the Yokohama Pikachu, uh, Pikachu Celebration. Uh, I think it's Yokohama's Pikachu. And there are four versions of this. I have two, um, two of two versions. Uh, and I really wanted to get these in good grades, but who knows about them from, from Japan, who knows how many hands they've been through. They're from 2019, so we'll see, 2018 actually. I can see a print line right down there too. That stinks, but I'm guessing, pff, I don't know, nine probably. Nine, 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 nine point five nine. So almost a quad nine. But I love, I love this artwork. It's just so adorable. No texture or anything, but not all cards with textures are beautiful. Other cards are beautiful too. Okay, cool. Same card. Uh, let's get the nine five nine nine point five nine 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 nine. Okay, I'm getting getting pretty decent. No, no eight point fives. And this must be the yes. This is the three Pikachu still Yokohama. As you can tell by the stamp right there, if it'll, oh, don't do that. Turtwig, Pikachu, and the seal Pokemon. I don't know, but these are the Yokohama Pikachus. Uh, and hopefully I got a, okay, I got a nine on this guy. Nine point five nine, nine point five nine. That's pretty good. As you can see, the butts as being the female and these being males. Nines, and we have one more. Well, we got a nine. Okay, one away from the quad. 8.5. Love these cards, even though they're not ideal grades or whatever. But I personally just love the artwork and just the color scheme and everything. And it looks really well with the with the label. All right, last four. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, five. Five right there. What we got? We got ooh the Mewtwo AX. So this is from 2003. wasn't too um, wasn't too hopeful for this card because it had some scratches and such. So I'm gonna guess like I don't know seven seven point five. Okay, went went higher than I thought. The CGC grades these quite quite harshly. Obviously corner the corner right there very very dinged. Um, but this is probably going to go in my person collection. Obviously, you can see that little swirl right there. Woo, swirls. Swirl gang. Okay, this is going to be whoop, off the picture, uh, but I love this card, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to put their own, own little thing right here. Okay. Oh, we got a vintage. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got some band cards. This is the band Ninja's Tricks, Koga's Ninja Tricks. As you can tell, hmm, I wonder why it was banned. Uh, this was a Buddha, a Buddha um, symbol. I'm fairly certain a Buddha symbol. And uh, in America, it's quite different, obviously, after World War II and everything. But this card was pretty good. Um, it probably went through a couple hands. I'm not 100% certain, but... Ah, uh, let's do an 8.5. Oh, yeah, buddy. 8.5. So surface 8. Yeah, usually the surface is going to get you. Mainly with CGC. But this is a crisp card. Crisp. But it's just the surface. Centering 8.5. Corners, edges 9.9. Nine, so love it. I love it. Sadly, we'll go down here. But it's a band cars. And there's going to be someone that will want that card. What we got? Ooh, the birds. We got the promo from Hidden Fates, um, 2019, came out in the ETB, love this card personally, this is from the ETB I opened, what do we get, it's English, so I'm guessing 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 5, 9. that's pretty good, that's pretty good, it was the best centering out of all the ones I think I had, I think I had maybe two of these, but 9, it's up in, it's up, up par with Japanese, maybe CGC just grades Japanese harder, who knows, but last one, okay, I got two of them. We got two of them. Okay, I'm guessing, can, can we end it on nine five? Nine, so this is, oh my gosh, they're exactly the same grade. That is insane. Okay, 
And we're down to the last one. The last one I don't know if he showed you guys, but it is the Mewtwo and Mew GX. It's all gold. I did not pull this from Tag Team All-Stars. I bought it from a Japanese seller. Who knows? Maybe he saw a ding. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just trying to get money. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, he's got a 9.5 at least. But who knows? From all this, probably got a 9. I don't know. But hopefully, 9.5. 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay. Okay, half and half. This probably will get... Uh, I don't even want to say that. Some people say this will probably get a PSA 10. But I don't want to say that at all. Um... This card is amazing, and it's going to be in my collection. It's a must-have for all Mewtwo and Mew fans, honestly. I mean, the artwork's not uh, different from Japanese, from from the English version, uh, but the color scheme and all gold and everything is most definitely. And that is going to wrap it up, guys. Um, I will come up with a part two of this video about all the other grades I got, and hopefully. Hopefully we get some, uh, I, ha I think I have like six more of these cards, but hopefully we get a high grade in that. Hopefully 10, who knows, um, but we'll see. See you in the next one.